vì buôn cò nó nâng mùi na thế su 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 tới ban đăng khơi mục thôi mà mình ban đó mà thay không <cười> đào mòn cái hai từ chụp chung rìp cả nơi cái lạnh ruộng bài chết vật và thiệt rìp cả nâng lục bài thuật miền tầm nẹt tầm nong na ở phía na số máy máy khám phía đằng cho phía số máy này chỉ mua những người đi sốp hàng đằng đại tế hay ta miền cà phê chặt đại tế nhóm ở miền bình chặt đấy lục mấy thì bị bị buộc nhóm ở miền cẩm lang cẩm lang ấy đam bay ở thà như thà lạnh người đi phê đấy cứ về nó cứ cái ao vừa cà nghe khu cẩm lăng hơi việc miền ở rầm ấy trong ban tập quân hay có tập lạnh rìp cà tạm thành cà bọc kì còn tay chia là bạch cao bọc kì cứ cái chậm nào nhầm thà chào thật không ạ chia chôn rong cái đặc cục hơi có trong mình hiên và cái chỉ mua kia tầm off kia ao thôi ấy trong thôi nâng tầm off lục thiền cái một nơi rồi xiên nu lục mấy sợi rưỡi bán riệp rọp pi vịt thì đại bán cát lạng nơi cày riệp cá đôi miên nơi nông video clip bận to tận này và xong bận trang video clip lấy đập ram nuit que vous avez passé avec votre épouse trong miền bờ pê nô cứ ao ta chập đam mê con thông nâng mê con chả lát mê con tàu nhấm cứ cứ đi chầm hói cứ cái đạn nhẹ như chơi lốp nó cứ tạm đàn tạm đàn cướp cu đừng o cứ cái miền chùa nó không bị chi vào cái cái bàn chay cầm lang chọc bà dương mình ruột nơi chùa mui khi thế cái đường miền đường miền thanh ca là bạch ca là mấy cái nhom mình hiền cái trang đại còn trong bàn chọc đời ca bạch trang tôn nâng tùng ngôn để phật tang lục nôn chi a hàng thả con chôm đại tam đan mơ nè đại riệp ca thầm ấy cứ đầm bay mơ là đằng thả bà phụ quát mình ban rôm phết chỉ môi khnien nút vía bạch trang nâng bát than bà bát thoa tẹt tông nâng phật phết vía cứ chỉ ca cướp con hơi khnong ca cắt sầm con thả ca rôm lốp lơ bát than bà bát thoa cứ chia bát than sầm rập cũng như Campuchia, tôi rằng việc có chia ca rụm lốp lấy bát than và bát thọ, nông ca đại sầm rát bằng chi vô, bật song, hỏi bằng không ai lốp, riệp cả nông thừa cả, tại tôi chỉ rằng là cả đời, riêng nu mình ban bản chấp, bạ cũng như Campuchia nội tệ, tam bật, nội tệ vị thi nội ca riệp ở phía phía tây mồ ní, từ ban tháp na lang đòi bạ cũng như Campuchia đầm bay rụm lốp lơ bát đạt than và bát thọ lốp bát thiên lốp lốp sợi chọc cầm phó tang đại miên nông nông ca bật bật ước cơ đặc cam tiếng này cứ miên dạng chia ra sản thực sản thọ đại chi sản thành đồng ngôn miên tiếng ca chữ chập nâng đại mình ai bậc cải bản vía chỉ ca mình trâm trâu tì đại mê thư vi ca pi cái đầy lược ông nam nàng nông nông sa rana rụp bọc bọc quạt đôi chân này Dương xôm xa nà ôi lúc bật thiền Lúc lúc xe chọc rõm tầng ọ Xâm rách thả lúc nôn chìa Nâng lúc khiêu xâm phón Miên bí rốt đập hiếp Bị bọt ủ cực đặc cam Bà trang nô chít Này ẩm bơ ạ mân nô thọ Bà xem xe tiết Để tẹ tôn nâng ạ bì 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 đòi bằng khóm Nâng ẩm bơ rùm lốp xe bà xâm thị vẹn Nâng khăn ông ạ bì 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 tẹng nô chỉ bằng to tự tiết nít nhóm xong ai dạng cà rây bọc nhóm cư lộc để 
lai dạ đầm bay lực là bản to tiết ẩm pi mình ti sơn đi sọc bà sôm ở cồn thiên sôm trên mà Good afternoon, Your Honors. Council. Um, subject I will address, start to address today, and mostly tomorrow morning, uh, is the crimes that were committed at the four security or re education offices. Uh, that are part of this trial. Uh, the Trampock District Prison, known as Frank Dechan, the Division at 801 Military Prison uh, in Ratnakiri, known as the Sector 105, the Prison, uh, Sector the Prison located in Mandalkiri, known as Phnom Krau, and of course the S21 Prison in Phnom Penh. Uh, these were just four of 196 security offices that were identified by DC CAM uh, in its mapping project uh, that were in operation uh, during this regime. Slide one. Uh, this map shows the locations uh, of some of the prisons and execution sites identified throughout this country. Hundreds of thousands of people murdered at these sites. Killings that left a hole in an entire generation of Cambodians that is still felt today in this country. A few months ago, I was struck by something uh, that speaks to the importance of this part of the case and why we are here today. Uh, in April, uh, Amnesty International uh, issued its annual report on the total number of executions worldwide last year. And in 2016, uh, excluding China, for which there is not reliable data, there were a total of 1,032 executions reported by Amnesty International worldwide. The largest number by far was from Iran, which executed 567 people, followed by Saudi Arabia with 154. Those who advocate the cause of international Human rights are rightfully alarmed by those things. For me, it, it was also a reminder of the enormity of the crimes that we have been entrusted with prosecuting. In one month alone, the month of May 1978, at least 1,074 prisoners were executed at S21, more than the entire worldwide total for 2016. 582 of those executions occurred on a single day, the 27th of May, 1978, more than the yearly total for the largest country on Amnesty International List. In one day, at one place. The execution numbers from S21, I remind you, represent just one of almost 200 security officers throughout Democratic Cambodia. The scale of killings is an unimaginable atrocity. Anyone, anyone who would say 
ដោយសារតែការពិតនឹងទំហំនៃអំពើសាព្រៃផ្សាយដែលបានកើតឡើងវិញនៅស្ថានការជំនុំជម្រះនោះទេនៅពេលដែលអ្នកគ្រប់ស
regard to such enemy elements. And I quote, We have had plans in place to apply the party's assignment line to routinely remove, screen, and sweep clean them. And then what then follows, Your Honors, in this lengthy report are many pages identifying people considered to have engaged in enemy conduct. The report includes uh, people who criticize the party's marriage policy, including a worker uh, at his own factory who told young woman, quote, if you love your parents, don't get married with also a woman who worried in the future, Ankar will arrange marriage for one man to marry five women. The report includes people who dare to complain, to complain of having to work too hard, of not having enough food to eat, or that Ankar had broken up their families and separated them from their children. It reports a man who was sent to a re-education office merely because it was discovered he was a French national who during the former regime was a musician who sang and played music for foreigners. And as in almost every such report that we have seen, uh, there are numerous people identified as soldiers from the former regime. And a section uh, you have heard but is of immense importance uh, when we get to the report for Sector 37 of the West Zone, it is reported in this sector, I quote, smashed 100 ethnic yuns, including small and big adults and children. Smashed 60 persons who had been from the ranking group as well as the CIA of the American imperialists who were hiding in the units and cooperatives. It then discusses elements who were lazy, opposing Ankar, cursing at people, being implicated in many confessions and refusing to work. And it concludes by describing the measures the zone in regard to these enemy activities. That is, and I quote, continue to search for all kinds of networks of the hidden enemy growing from within and sweep them clean continuously and absolutely from the bases, units, offices, and various departments. Your Honours, um, one other important point about the timing of this report. It was sent in early August 1978, uh, and that is about four months after uh, the centre had purged and sent to S21 uh, the, the former Secretary of the West Zone, Chu Chet. So this is a report that is coming from the new leader that was put in place by the leaders in Phnom Penh, Bot, Nunchea, Kusum Khan and others, trusted to take control of the zone and implement the party center's policies. And this is just one report from one zone for one month in a regime that lasted three and a half years. Now, the accused Your Honours, we're well aware of what was going on in this country. The National Co-Prosecutor talked about that today. Um, she brought to your attention uh, a very important document uh, the 8th March 1976 Standing Committee uh, meeting uh, E3232. 
and the importance of this uh, is, as we know, um, standing committee meetings were attended not only by Noon Chea, but also by Q Simpan, uh, a fact he admitted to OCIJ and which is also shown by the surviving standing committee minutes. And in this uh, very critical surviving record, uh, any doubt, uh, any doubt is removed that both of these accused attended meetings at which they received reports from regional leaders on the enemy situation uh, in their territories. It is plainly documented, documented in those minutes. Uh, in which the sector uh, and zone leaders came to Phnom Penh that they reported on enemies who had been arrested. They asked for instructions from Ankar and they were given in this case specific instructions to conduct further interrogations and report the responses to the upper echelon. There is no doubt, Your Honours, that the accused, both of them, knew and were involved in these matters. We are very, very fortunate that uh, some of these reports and telegrams uh, survived uh, the effort of the CP CPK leadership uh, to destroy the paper trail of their crimes. This evidence refutes any claim that they did not know what was taking place. They knew and they knew in excruciating detail. These documents and any argument that the zones were operating autonomously and contrary to the wishes of the center. Uh, you can see from the numbering sequence in the telegrams uh, that report, reports, telegrams were sent from the zones to the center on almost a daily basis. For anyone who wants to know the truth of this regime, read these documents. They are telling. We are also fortunate that uh, of the 196 security centers uh, in operation during the Khmer Rouge regime, uh, there were two uh, that uh, failed to destroy at least all of their records uh, before the Vietnamese arrived, S-21 and Krang Tachan. It is in significant part because of the survival of records from those two prisons that there is no serious dispute about the crimes that took place there. And we also have critical evidence that corroborates the accounts uh, of survivors from other democratic Kampuchea prisons. Indeed, uh, one of the two defense teams, Kyusampon team, uh, has conceded in its trial brief that the evidence from S-21 establishes murder, extermination, enslavement, imprisonment, other inhumane acts, torture, and persecution. Uh, in my submissions, uh, continuing tomorrow, uh, I will address uh, the crimes against humanity that I believe uh, are most uh, closely associated with the security offices. Uh, that will be uh, the crimes of imprisonment, other inhumane acts against human dignity, torture, and uh, last but not least, murder and extermination. I will discuss the evidence from these security centers uh, that most, the evidence that most convincingly proves these crimes. And I will make some submissions uh, on the two accused responsibility for these crimes.
let me now start um, with the crime of imprisonment. Your Honours, uh, the crime against humanity of imprisonment uh, means this. It means the deprivation of an individual's liberty arbitrarily. That is uh, without a justifiable legal basis in the process of law. There is little dispute uh, based on the evidence you have heard that thousands of victims were deprived of their liberty and forcibly detained at Krang Tachan, Phnom Krao, Open Sang, and S21. Uh, amongst the hundreds of witnesses you have heard, not a single person claims there were any courts, judges, judicial bodies, or criminal laws and procedures in place in democratic Kampuchea. <coughs> Not even the most loyal, diehard former Khmer Cadres. It was the party leaders and the party leaders alone who decided who would be arrested, sent to security offices, and smashed. What took place was the very the very definition of arbitrary and extrajudicial imprisonment and execution. In addition to the witnesses uh, who have testified, there were no courts, and the victims who were arrested and detained without any opportunity to defend themselves often without even receiving any reason for their arrest. There are also surviving documents that show us the reality of how so many people were branded enemies by the party, deprived of their freedom, and in many cases, their lives. You heard from two survivors of the Open Sang prison, Pan Thol and Moon Chandi. They were workers at the Northeast Zone rubber plantation uh, who in mid-June 1977 uh, were arrested along with 10 other workers from the rubber union and taken to Open Sang. Moon Chandi was pregnant at the time. They were not told the reason for their arrest, just that they were going to study with Angkara. Why were these rubber plantation workers arrested? Let me show you a, a telegram that was sent by Northeast Zone Secretary V. To the party leaders in Phnom Penh on the 15th of June 1977, around the very time these workers were arrested. In this telegram, the zone secretary writes, quote, it is decided that Comrade T take secret measure to take out the contemptible persons burrowing within rubber and cotton plantations as well as mobile units. The target of this purge, if you read the telegram, was to be a number of quote-unquote networks of four persons who were identified as contemptibles. Your Honours, uh, it is not legally justifiable to arrest and imprison people because they are part of someone's network or because of who they work for or who they are related to. That is not due process, that is guilt by association. Panthol and Munchandi are just two of the many thousands of victims who were caught up in a CPK witch hunt for enemies burrowing from within. 
a witch hunt that consumed the regime in 1977 and 1978. I can break your, uh, Mr. President. បាទអរគុណបាទនេះ <coughs> ให้ประกอบไว้อันเรียกอัมติคงแข้งนองคลุนจุนจบจอบทางพิรูปลูกนุนเชียนนองลูกเคือสัมพอนตลอบประกันมันตีคงแข้งใน